This is a tutorial for the customer meeting notes and follow-ups template. To start off, you're going to be in this duplicate section. Click on the three dots and click on duplicate. And let's give this section a name of our current customer meeting note. So let's call this floor 1619 customer meeting with Cardiff. Let's give this a nice little section icon. And we can delete some of this extraneous data right here. And let's begin. So let's start by picking today's customer meeting date. It's going to be April 16th in this case. And I'm going to click on my customer name, which is Card of Electric. To add your own customer names to this dropdown, you can click on Add Customer here and just say ABC Company. Or you can just start writing in this uh, field itself and say Widgets Incorporated or something. And then you set this plus sign and then your customer name will show up in the dropdown. For now, I'm going to stay with Card of Electric. And if, down here, I'm going to start writing in my notes. So, met with VP. And as you are uh, writing notes and you have follow ups that come up from the meeting, you can click on this add follow up button and say VP asked for PPT deck. And maybe during the use case, liked the demo, wants an NDA. That will spark for me to add a follow-up. So I'm going to click on add follow-up here as well. Send VP the NDA. Once the meeting is over, you can go head up over here and just click on the add a meeting summary button and just type in a summary of what happened during the customer meeting. So met with VP liked the demo, send VP the NDA. And there you go. So that's essentially the process you would follow for one customer meeting note. Everything from writing the notes, adding follow-ups, and then the customer meeting summary right here. What's really great is that if you click on this meeting summaries and follow-up section, you have all the follow-ups from all your customer meetings for different customers. These are the two that I just added from my customer meeting with Cardiff. I can click on this checkbox to mark it off as kind of like a to-do. And also all my meeting summaries are here sorted by chronological order. In the notes archive, you can put your previous customer meeting notes here. So you have a log of all your notes. So I can drag and drop this and put it into this folder. So it's nicely tucked away in the notes archive. And that's it.